Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and going to episodes 10 and 11 of season 2 The Dangers in My Heart. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, so you guys are possibly going to get separated. <laughs> oh, I like her hair. <laughs> All for that. You clearly said his name. Run over to <laughs> ran over to him and been like, oh my god. Okay, let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. <laughs> She's not in the same. <laughs> Don't lash out on him. 
Once again, she's super short as hell. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Not the flash mob. I don't think we're going to get a flash mob, meaning like we're almost done with season two, so there's no way in hell. Oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> 
Okay, go ahead and continue playing the friend guard, my boy. Establishing the dominance, okay. Yeah. Right? You're too tall.
Right, but something tells me she might keep it to herself. I can't really see good. And it's like, oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> In Hawaii, yeah. Well, I think doing the flash mob, that probably was the biggest thing, you know. Embarrassing for one of them or both of them. Uh, 
I mean, because in a way, it kind of looked like you were probably hitting on her without saying that you were hitting on her. Okay, so I love the fact that, yes, everyone is all together again, except certain characters. You feel bad for them because, yes, they're separated. You want certain couples to stay together, but no, I get it. You gotta have them be separated. It's like, you know, every year when you go to school, um, from, let's say, kindergarten all the way up until senior year, you're always wondering if your friends are going to be in the same class with you, not only because, yeah, you get to, like, hang out with them all the time and such, but, um, it, it's different. You, you know, when you have that, like, certain friend group who's, like, part of your clique, per se, um, sometimes you don't really want to associate with any other people and such, but, like, for me, in my years of, from kindergarten to high school, um, it always depended on the class and stuff, especially going into middle school and high school, I never really knew. So if I didn't get to see my friends in class, I got to see them, like, during lunch and everything when we got to catch up and stuff like that. Plus, you also get to text them whenever the time you had free time. But now, as an adult, because you're even more busier than you were as a kid, it, it's just, it, it's a blessing and a curse. That is what I will say. A very big blessing and curse because... One minute you want to hang out with your friend, but then next thing you know, they're busy doing something else. And then, like, next thing you know, when, you know, what if that person has free time, you're busy doing something else and such. And so you have to kind of establish, like, a day where you're both off from work. You don't have too much to do. And then you can be like, yeah, we can do something together and such. It's just complicated. That is the game of fucking life. Like, you just never know when you're going to have free time. Um, I do love the fact that, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Hanukkah, um, basically wondering what is the relationship status between these two. Pretty much everyone, once again, is also asking that question. With the fact that we only have three episodes left, and these two still have not confessed to each other, I mean, are, are we going to see it in the last two episodes next week? I, I don't really know. I, I'm still, like, iffy, per se. Um, but the cards are all there. The chips are all fucking there. They just have to do it and stuff. And every single time when they get close to saying um, either I like you, I love you, I want to go out with you and such, someone comes in and ruins that moment. Um, I do also love the fact that she also asks Yamada, like, well, yeah, what is the difference between, you know, friendships and love? Is it, like, the same? Dating with someone, is it just, like, a friendship? Well, you know, sometimes, like, yeah, dating... Um, a person who possibly is your friend, yeah, of course you're going to start as friends first and stuff, and you're going to get more comfortable with each other. Um, I've seen many people who have officially, yeah, started out as friends first, and then they've dated. And then sometimes if they do break up, it makes the relationship and the friendship a little more awkward, and then sometimes it doesn't. It's just, you know, I've seen people who have been friends for, like, years, and then they start dating, and then, yeah, they kind of get married, and sometimes, like I said, it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. You just never really know truly at the end of the day. It's just about, once again, communication is key, always making sure, you know, you are 100 and, I'm not even going to say 10, 120, um, percent that you put your all into it and stuff and once again when you break up don't bring your baggage from your previous relationship into your current relationship always <sighs> take it day by day that's all i'll say about that but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode 11 all right episode 11 in three two one go Um,
My thing is, is why would you put the tallest person in the front and then behind her, the shortest person? But that's just nuts. You put the short person in front. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Right, right. Look at him. <laughs> mm, if you're sure about that.
Yeah. <laughs> Is your dad home? I mean, because... Oh, I see. Right? <laughs> Girl. That he does. And that's why he wants to go against you. So, what, Dre?
Better hurry. Not only for him, but for yourself. Yeah, unfortunately, baby, you have.
He just knows. He knows. Even though he won in that moment, he still lost. Poor baby. Ah. And what's it to you? It's the vento she made. It, it is. <laughs> it's good. Mm hmm I don't think he can eat all that. Like, damn, that that big ass stuff of <laughs> egg. That was so freaking cute. But yeah, I do feel bad for What's His Face because like I said, he won, but he lost at the same time. And then he over here going to rebound with <laughs> sister. <laughs> Bruh. But no, in that moment where those two were just arguing back and forth, I mean, oh, the, the emotion and that, the rawness and that, Jesus, like, I feel for both of them because it's like when you really like someone and it, it's hard for when you and your friend or just someone who's close to you likes the same person, it gets really awkward and you're just like, damn, it sucks. And, and it's like, do you, do you be a good friend and just let them go or do you be selfish and try for that same person as well and it's and it goes both ways for both of them really because Yamada technically established dominance that she won at Kotaro at the end of the day at the beginning of this damn series she established that and now that it's like opposite where Kotaro is slowly but surely establishing dominance like he wants Yamada it's too freaking cute like oh my god the babies, like, but I get it. I definitely get it. It's just, that's why sometimes, like, it, it is a love triangle in a way because it, it's just, God, I, I can't, thank God I am not in one of those. <laughs> I, I could not imagine having to choose between, like, two guys. I mean, mm, especially if it's two people that I really care about and stuff. And hmm, that's hard.
But she's already, she already knows what she wants. She really does know what the fuck she wants in a guy. And, and it's Kotaro. And, and she's satisfied with that. Like, she can be friends with all these other guys regardless. But at the end of the day, she's like, it's you. You are the person who I want to be with. I want to be with you. I want to spend every freaking waking moment with you. Even with the fact that I got to do X, Y, and Z. But I always want to come home to see you. And it's just... Stop. Girl made him lunch. If that ain't down bad, I don't know what is. So come on now. I don't want to hear that crap. <laughs> down bad for him. And once again, he even confessed, even though she didn't hear it due to the rain. But still, he confessed. Now, I just we just need it to each other. We have two episodes left. And I think one of these two episodes is the school trip episode. I think that was the episode that was the most anticipated because everybody was freaking out about that episode, I think. Um, but we hope next week, or if I'm, well, my goal is to kind of watch it this week. Um, we end out with a win. It doesn't always have to be the number one win, but you know, hi. Hey, whatever floats your boat. We'll see how this show ends officially in a couple of days. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episodes 10 and 11 of season 2 of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for the final two episodes of season two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.